Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be the weekly reading for the Sun, Moon, and Rising sign of Sagittarius. Alright, Sagittarius, this is going to be for the 3rd of December through the 9th of December 2018, you guys. Alright, Spirit, what do you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. All right. Sun, moon, and rising sign. Sagittarius. All right, you guys. Give me just a second to get your cards ready. Right. All right, you guys. Very nice, very nice cards. All right. Let's see here. And all right. I'm also going to pull an energy oracle as well. Um, Spirit, what do you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the third to the ninth of December, 2018? Sun, Moon, and Rising, Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit. Alright, right, you guys. And I'm also going to do um, pull one Madame Andorra card as well. Spirit, what do you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign for the 3rd to the 9th of December 2018? Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising sign. All right, you guys. Okay. All right. All right, you guys. This is your spread right here. These are your clarifying cards right here. And then we have the energy oracle as well as the Madame Andorra for further clarification of your reading. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and let's get started. This looks like a really beautiful reading right here. Very positive. Um, let's start with the heart of the matter, the situation for the week. Uh, Sagittarius, we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is mastering your work, your craft. Um, something that you enjoy doing. This could be your job. This could be a hobby, but you are at the stage of mastery over it. It's fulfilling its mastery um, what you have going on up in your mind right now what's crowning you is the strength card um, this is what you know right now so this is like having the drive and the will to uh, move forward and as I'm looking at this you know the strength card represents the number eight in the uh, major arcana and then you know you start out the situation of the week with the eight of pentacles with another eight so i'm really seeing you having the passion and the <coughs> excuse me and the the drive to just push forward for uh what it is that you're doing what whatever you're mastering here i put that in the wrong one i'm sorry you guys but I, I just, I, I'm seeing with you knowing this, with you like, th this is a very positive card. Um, it's very positive when it pertains to this reading right here because you have a lot of positive cards around this. This is what you know when your mind, Sagittarius, this is what, you're, you're driving towards something. You're working um, towards something. And, you know, right now you may not be aware of this but you soon will be within by the end of the week which is the nine of cups i mean come on i mean you started out with the eight of pentacles you've mastered something you you're working towards something and then you have your inner strength your guidance you know thrusting you forward and it's basically i mean look at this wishes fulfilled contentment happiness and i have a feeling that you you are somewhat aware of what's going on or what's to come because when i'm looking at the position of what's benefiting you right now 
Sagittarius is that you have the Ace of Cups. This is a, a gift of love. Uh, it could be a, a, a gift from a loved one. It could also be someone offering you their cup of love. Um, and this can just be a universal gift as well from the universe sending blessings down um, upon you, showing, showing its love for you, the, you know, all universal love. God is just like literally looking at you and, and pouring down this blessing. And I feel like you know that it's coming in because when I look at the Nine of Cups that, you know, it's in your foundation. You may not be or you may be aware of it or you may not. You have the Ace of Cups. You know something's coming, an opportunity. And this could be a gifted opportunity. This could be an opportunity for you to grow creatively. Because when I look at your new circumstances, the Seven of Cups. Now, a lot of times the Seven of Cups can represent literally like having a, kind of a daydream attitude or mindset. Kind of having your heads up in the cloud. Got too much going on, thinking about too many you know, but what I'm seeing here is opportunities coming in. I, I don't see this negative at all, you guys. This is quite beautiful, Sagittarius. This is very beautiful. Um, I see, I see this these gifts coming in and these opportunities coming in, and there's a very good chance that you have more than just one blessing on the way. I mean, this is very nice. Um, and like I said. This is like a slow moving energy because when we look at your clarifying cards, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, this could also represent um, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But I on honestly feel like this is this energy of what you've started here. You've mastered something. You've brought something into fruition. Um, you've brought something to the table and it's going to be very, uh, it's going to pay out. It's going to pay out for you in the long run as well. But this is something that's been taking time. And the Knight of Pentacles represents kind of a, a slow, uh, a moving energy. And I feel like this move, this energy is starting to move and flow towards you. And by the end of this week, you're going to be seeing the fruits of your labor. And you could be dealing with a King of Cups. Uh, this could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This could be male or female energy. Or this just could be, uh, I, I'm really, I, I'm wanting to say that this could be an energy that you're feeling. Or maybe a father figure that's around you, that's helping you uh, lift some burdens, maybe. Or this very well could be you, Sagittarius, helping someone else. This could be helping an older person, um, possibly a male. Like I said, it could be a female. Um, but what I'm getting here, I don't feel like this is someone coming in to help you. I feel like you're going to be helping someone this week. I feel like you're going to be able to um, bless someone as well. Because I, I see blessings coming to you. And this could be why this Seven of Cups is here. Because, you you know, the universe is blessing you. But it's also giving you an opportunity to touch and bless someone else that's um, recently been burdened or oppressed. Like I said, this could be a mom, a dad, an uncle, um, a very good friend. This could definitely somebody that means a lot to you, Sagittarius. Very close to you. I, I really, now, like I said, this could be somebody offering, um, it, it could be vice versa. But I'm really getting that it. this is you offering help to someone. And, and this is the way the universe does work, Right. I mean, when the universe blesses us and then we turn around and we bless others, the blessings, it's just a continuous, you know, cycle. And it's very beautiful. Um, let's go ahead and see what the energy oracle has to say. Oh, very nice. This is New Beginnings. Um, this is uh, the World card. It, it represents um, new beginnings, a new start, um, a, a, maybe a path of life. I'm seeing... Like I said, you you know, the Ace of Cups also represents, you know, a new beginning. Um, and I feel like this new beginning, whatever the circumstance is that's coming in for you, this blessing, it's it's your dream. Your, it's, your ultimate wishes are fulfilled. I mean, this is beautiful, Sagittarius. Just beautiful. I mean, this was a very, very nice reading. I'm looking at this card because it's, I feel like it's trying to talk to me just a second. Yes, I mean, I, I was, 
I really feel like you guys have worked on something and it's it's um, you're waiting you've been waiting with this Knight of Pentacles to come in and um, you know it's about here um, you could have invented something you could have designed something and this is going to be able to make you uh, you're, you're gonna be able to start have a new cycle and beginning in your life like um, new things coming in um, a whole new life experience is very different and you've been waiting on this because you've you have literally put in your time and you've mastered well, however this pertains to you you've mastered it and you're going to be able to help others as well uh, with this new beginning very nice very nice the night triumph over adver adversity so you know I'm just I'm looking at this and I feel like you guys when you have the world here and you have this card here, I really see coming from this, you've got the Eight of Strength, the Eight of Pentacles, and you've worked yourself up to mastery and, you know, you're, these gifts, these blessings, these opportunities that are coming in for you guys. And it's just literally, you know, I, I you may not realize, you know this is coming, but you may not, may not realize, Sagittarius, that... This is like going to be a wish fulfillment for you guys. This is, I mean, 100%. And you may not even see it that way yet. But when it arrives, you're going to be overwhelmed with the joy. Um, because you, you've mastered this. I mean, you've mastered this. And then you have the new beginnings. Um, you know, the world is your oyster right now. This is how you can look at this. And you've, you know, it's taken a lot for you. You've worked a lot hard to get here. Sag, you've worked hard. The world is a, your oyster now. Um, this is very pretty. This is just a very beautiful um, reading. I, I, you're going to be able to bless someone else as well. Um, I, I do see that somebody you know that you're acquainted with that you care a lot about. They are oppressed, and you're going to help them. Um, you're going to you're going to help that person. I'm getting that really strongly as well. Sag, this was a beautiful reading. Please um, comment. I would like to know how this resonates with you. Um, this is very interesting, and this is a, truly a very nice reading. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.